Do you ever sit down and finally have time to open up Cricut Design Space and start working on a project and when you finally click on it, it has to update and you're stuck waiting for it to update. What's it even updating? Can't we just get on with our projects? So the January 2021 update, uh, it came out on January 7th, has some features I am so excited for. This is Hank's Maker Mentor, and we're going to go over the new features in Cricut Design Space for the January 2021 update. And we're going to go into them in more detail, but just the quick overview is that you can now search through your saved projects. You can now see the thickness of the pens as you use them on the canvas. You can see the text as you rotate your bounding boxes. The two changes are what the pause screen looks like when you are in the process of cutting a project and the Cricut branding has changed as well. So let's hop into Design Space and I will show you what each of these looks like and give you a little bit more detail. All right, so here in Cricut Design Space, if we go into uh, view all of my projects and come up here, we can now search our projects. So if I go ahead and type in Linda, it'll pull up both of the projects I have that have Linda. I can also search for snowman and I can find all my snowman accessories. You can also click on the X up here and it'll just bring them back to all of it. But this saves you from having to scroll all the way down all right so this next one is that it shows the pen thickness on your canvas and there are a couple of caveats to that so make sure you kind of keep an eye on those so i'm going to change this one to a draw and it defaults to the 0.4 millimeter fine point pen in black um, we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it a few times. So on this first one, we are going to leave it at fine point, but I'm actually going to change it to raspberry. And then on this one, we're going to change it to the, let's see which pens am I working with? So there's the 0.4 raspberry. This is the glitter tip, the glitter gel and it is in black and so you'll see that this now shows up as thicker than that one this one we're using the silver gel pen the one millimeter and once again it's that little bit thicker as well and for this one we're doing the um, two millimeter calligraphy pen in black so You'll see that each of them gets progressively thicker when you go to make it on the prepare screen the the screen before you make it they are all going to look the same so showing the different thicknesses on the canvas is super nice because it'll help you visualize a little bit better what your project is actually going to look like because it's really hard when you're trying to figure out spacing and it's all the same thickness when really it's going to look different on your project. All right, for our last brand new feature, we're gonna be talking about the bounding box. And we're gonna start by going over what that is because it took me a long time to realize what people were talking about when they said that. So when you're in here, and we're gonna just work with shapes again, the bounding box shows you the furthest dimensions out on your project. So on the square, the bounding box goes right around the very edges. And at the corners of the bounding box, you will always have your delete option, your rotate, your resize, and your lock and unlock for your proportions. You'll see the little plus in the center showing you where the exact middle of your item is but you don't see the entire box if you click on a shape that is not a square you'll see this box show up and what this box does is it shows you just how much space this takes up 
Cricut thinks this is how much room you need to cut this. So when you go in to make it, even if I had these lined up so that they were more efficient here, if I go in to make it, Cricut thinks that I need that entire square bounding box available. Um, and you can come in here and manually do it if you need to rearrange things, but it's nice to know kind of why they choose where to put things the way they do. So the bounding box has been around. That part hasn't changed. What has changed is what the bounding box does as you rotate it. All right, so they're both at three inches. So when I rotate it, it still sticks with the three inches. It shows me that's how wide it is. Same thing with my square. It's still a three inch square, regardless of what direction I have it oriented in. One time that will look different is if you, if you click to unlock your proportions, you'll see that the bounding box is much bigger now. It no longer sits just around the square. It's showing me that at this orientation, it's actually close to four inches. Um, to go all the way around it and to resize it. Now, if I lock it back up, it does go back to the tight bounding box that is as efficient as Cricut Design Space can do. In order to show you how the pause screen has changed, I'm going to draw out those stars with the different thicknesses just so we can kind of have a good project to show you on. Now it's paused. So on the maker, I can cancel the project by pressing the load unload button. I can resume the project by just clicking the go button or I can do this little checkbox to restart the project from the beginning. One time I can see this being useful is if maybe you put your pen in the machine but it didn't click all the way down or maybe it was totally dried out. This would allow you to restart from the very beginning of the project instead of having to cancel it, unload it, and then start the project over again. So I'm actually going to try and resume from the beginning. We're gonna see what it does and then it should redraw exactly where it did before. And that's what it did. So you'll see that the pens do have the different thicknesses, just like they do here on the canvas now, which is really exciting. The colors in Design Space have changed. That one's not gonna change how you use Design Space or how it works at all. The last thing the update did was some bug fixes. If you ever want to know what's new in the updates or what bug fixes were implemented, you can go into cricut.com and in help.cricut.com you can look um, under design space there are the release notes and this is the release notes for this January 2021 update. Um, it is version 6.2 and it goes through and it shows which of the new features there are, gives you important notes, like how it only shows on the canvas. Um, it talks about the bounding box, the pause screen, and it shows screenshots of these things, it talks about the branding change, and then it goes through and it tells you which bug fixes were implemented. So this can be really helpful, especially for people that have been using Design Space and they knew a feature was not previously available, I tried to search through my projects by the title so many times, but eventually I stopped trying because I knew that wasn't a feature that was available. So when I saw this new update, I was super excited. I wanted to go ahead and make this video, let you know what the new January 2021 updates are and how you can figure out where they are as well. I hope 2021 is great for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. Join me through 
throughout 2021 and beyond as I help you learn to make things with your Cricut. And until next time, bye.